Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Skyrim, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you consider dropping a like uh, or a subscription with the bell turned on, uh, or hey, even just a comment down below. Uh, any of those will help the channel grow, they will help get this series out in front of other people, and thank you to those that are doing that. Now, rather conveniently, walking just in front of us, last episode, we basically rescued Serana from a crypt where she was basically I, I can only assume held in suspended animation because she said she'd been down there for like I think it was what three five thousand years and she had no idea really what was going on um, and she asked us to bring her back home which is that castle over there in the distance so we are going to be doing that and let's jump in the boat which basically just saves us having to swim there because you can physically get there you can swim that difference or distance but it's it's not worth it and the loading screen is actually faster so here we are at castle Volkihar, which it's rather imposing and it's quite it, it's it's a nice castle i mean other than the fact it's in the tail end of nowhere it is a nice castle let's keep pushing up here serana should want to talk to us in a moment hey so before we go in there what is it i wanted to thank you for getting me this far but after we get in there i'm going to go my own way for a while i think i know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here i'm hoping you can show some more control than that once we're inside just keep quiet for a bit let me take the lead Lady Serana. right okay i am just going to turn the sound back up a little bit for speech because that was a very quiet conversation okay open the gate and now we can head inside the way I hear it. but I think Lydia has to wait outside I don't think it lets her come in with us which is a shame uh, also apologies if I do send it a little bit odd at the moment I am recovering from a bit of a cold um, so yeah I've got sort of drinks to the side of me to keep my mouth sort of from drying up but yeah I've got a bit of a bit of a sore throat so apologies if I sound a bit odd how dare you trespass here wait Serana is that truly you I cannot believe my eyes my lord everyone Serana has returned Ooh, Lydia is in expected I can't believe it. That must be part of the framework thing. She's not normally allowed in here. Okay, and here we have a vampire court My where they are. My lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. Yeah, I don't know what this is. I think it's to do with a mod, but I don't know which one or what it actually applies to. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, he I'm delighted destroyed. to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? Now, we don't want to play hardball with Lord Harkon. He is rather hardcore. I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. That's some fantastic answers here. I love this. You're a reclusive cannibal cult. We're not going with that, but I love it as an answer. You're vampires. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Do I get a reward for finding your daughter? I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. 
Men will tremble at your approach, and you will never fear death again. I'm a werewolf. What will happen if I accept your gift? Yes, I can smell it on you. The power of my blood will purge that filth and to make you whole again. And if I want to remain a werewolf? I will banish you from this castle. I will spare your life this once, but after that, you are prey. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. So this is uh, the turning point in the quest where you either commit to the vampire side or the dawn guard side and the comments didn't really give me a steer on what you guys wanted so I'm basically making my own decision on this and I'll be honest with you I'm going to go with the vampire side because I find it more interesting as a story um, and there's also an item that I think would really benefit our character but it only spawns if you take the vampire side now like I mentioned in the last episode I'm not that keen on playing as vampires because I hate the whole can't go out in the daylight thing and the, the stuff like that but I'll do it for a little bit and then we'll see where we go from there but we're going to go vampire you know full on Dracula here be still Aren't you supposed to talk to us? Awake at last. Good. The power is growing within you, and now you must learn to wield it. I am ready to learn about my new powers. With my guidance, you will become a deadly instrument, striking terror into the hearts of mortals wherever you tread. Now listen to my words and do as I instruct. The true power of the ancient blood is found in the form of the Vampire Lord. Assume the mantle of the Vampire Lord and we will continue. Okay, so this is a new power we have, so let's favourite that, and then turn it into one. In this form, you can drain the life from your foes with your right hand. With your left hand, you can wield the power of blood magic to raise the dead. You can also call upon the powers of night to turn into a swarm of bats and reappear some distance away. Should you run out of magicka, you can descend to the ground and fight as the beasts do. Do so now, and we will continue. We take off, and we land. Good. You are weaker while on the ground, because you cannot access the blood magic. However, the night powers are still yours to command, and your claws are still formidable weapons. Over time, your powers will grow in strength, and you will find new ways to use your gifts. So this is one of the things that Dawnguard did, and it did do it for the werewolves as well. We got a whole new perk tree just for vampires or werewolves. So we have these perks here, and we gain the points by, for the werewolves eating hearts of humans we've killed while as a werewolf. And I think for vampire, it's you need to kill them using the blood magic, I think. I don't use it very often, but yeah, there we go. There is much to learn, but if you master the powers of the Vampire Lord, few enemies will be able to stand against you. You know, apart from the sun. Then we've got bats, revert form, vampire sight. Okay. 
There is one last thing you must know. Slaying mortal men with your life drain grants you new night powers and blood magic. I keep a stable of thralls in the castle, should you need to feed like the baser vampires to stave off the sun. That is all I have to teach you. If you wish to be reminded of these lessons, you need only ask. I have a task that will test your new powers. But first, Let's carry out this do you task. Have any question? Good. Go and speak to Garen Marethi. Tell him it is time. He will understand. Okay, so we want to revert. Would you turn us back into our Dunmer form? I have kept my end of the bargain. Now I expect you to keep yours. And now we have Lydia with us. Okay, so we need to find what was it, Gareth Morefi? Not very good with the name there. Right. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. Good for you. I saw more than enough political maneuvering in my time in house dress. I was tired of it then, and I'm tired of it now. I, uh, I have a message from Harkon. Lord Harkon, remember your place. Now, what is our Lord's wish? He simply said, it is time. Well, well. He wants the chalice, then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? Not even a little bit. It is a rather well-kept secret. The chalice has been in Lord Harkin's possession for quite some time now. It is, when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. He has neglected using it for ages. If he wants it filled now, then grander things are afoot. This is good. Follow me. I'll take you to it. Lord Thank you. Harkin has never cared to use the chalice, relying on his more than adequate powers until now. This is an intriguing change. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. The chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkin's orders, Ortheolf. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the chalice. Really? Indeed. She's off to Redwater Den. Well then, best of luck to you. Vengalmo and Ortheolf are Harkin's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. And here we are. Now, this chalice needs to be filled directly from the bloodspring that is the source of Redwater Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Redwater Den has fallen into, well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. Excellent. We get to go on a blood murdering killing spree. Mind yourself. Okay, so let's go and take the Bloodstone Chalice to Redwater Spring. Which, if we were in survival mode, because I've done it, trust me, this bit is a flipping nightmare to do from survival mode because you've got to get all the way back to probably Solitude to catch a carriage, to get all the way down here to probably Riften to then head over there. Uh, which, yeah, so we're going to head to Riften. Now, it might have looked like that Snap Lake Cave was closer, which it might have been, but it's on the side of a cliff, so the height might make it a bit awkward there, whereas I know this is a pretty straight shot from Riften, so that's why we're going to go from here and, uh, yeah, go a little bit cross-country. But, yeah, the, the bit I really don't like is when you are a vampire, being in the daylight suspends your... Yeah, so, okay, so we're getting hungry, but also being in the daylight, if I run, there you go, look, see, my stamina bar isn't refilling anymore. Is that a dragon? Okay, that is not what I want. We do not want that, because my stamina, and I'm pretty sure my magic, don't regen during the day anymore, which is horrible. It really is. I so dislike it. 
but yeah, we'll, we'll pursue as a vampire for a little bit, and I more than likely will be giving that up pretty quickly, because, you know, I like being able to run. But that's it. We're, we're now out of stamina. Uh, if I sneak up on these people, I think I can feed on them. Oh no, that is pickpocket. Okay, what if I put that down? No. Okay, alright. Apparently I can't feed on them while they're awake. I thought we could. Maybe that was a mod. I did, so... Off, uh, before I started doing this series, I, I was playing a modded playthrough on my own, which is, is a lot more modded, and I was using the Better Vampires mod in there. And I'm pretty sure that gives you some extra abilities to feed on people. For example, it does give you one where if you knock someone down in combat, but you get them really low on life, you are then able to feed off of them. Oh, this no stamina is killing me because I don't have power attacks. Okay. Hello, bear. Oh, yeah, God, I'm missing the power attacks already. Okay. And is our health going to regen? Is that going to be a problem as well? All right, hang on. Weakness to sunlight. Health, magic, and stamina do not recover while in sunlight. That, to my mind, is game breaking. Um, Double says I'm doing this as a YouTube series, which means I can't flip it to nighttime all the time to regenerate all of that because then it will be too dark for you guys to see so oh god there's another bear uh, right okay potion and then I'm going to need to take a potion of stamina and a potion of magic because nothing regens where are all these bears coming from right, that's that one down any more for any more? Come on. I want to get indoors so this will re regen normally. And we should be getting there fairly soon. That's red water then. You can just about see the fences up there. Okay, yeah, this has already annoyed me. I think we're going to go and have a chat with Ayala and basically try and turn back into a werewolf because this is. Yeah, this is, this is becoming unacceptable. Right. Hello. You're dead. What was that? Oh, that was a dragon, but you don't have to worry about that. Has that dragon really followed me all the way here? Jeez, it has. Okay. Right, we're also weak to fire now. Right, let's have another chug of some health potions. Hello, dragon. Don't mind me. I'm just going to come around the side and try and batter you a bit. There we go. Okay, right. Don't want the Orcish Greatsword. Don't want any of that other than the Bones and Scales. Hello, Red Wolf Guard. Right, okay. And then we can go inside. And inside means we get health back and magic back and... We can actually behave normally. I wonder if that dragon soul will come with us. I've never actually tried to do a transition like that when it's doing the dragon soul um, absorbing animation thing. Might have lost that one. Oh well. Oh no, it did come with. Okay. Do I have any shouts that I want to unlock? Ethereal could be useful. Yeah, that could be useful. We'll unlock that one. Okay, right. Yay, everything's regening. Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself, or we'll be getting better acquainted. Yeah. Head on in and behave yourself. Nope. I'd like to meet you. I'd like you to meet my friends, you know, Flamey and Swordy. Wow, okay, you really did drop like a stone. In we go. Hello! I'm here to murder you all. Is someone there? Oh, an expert lock. Oh, I didn't expect that. 
Did not expect the expert lock. I love how everything freezes around you when you're lock picking like this. Oh, that was bad. Come on, it should be about there. No. Okay. Burning through our lockpicks here. There we go. Right, we need that open so I can get to her. Right, that's you dealt with. That's you dealt with. And no one else is going to be causing me a problem out here, are they? Oh, he had the key anyway. Oh, well. Right, not worried about the skooma. I will take the coin purse. Not worried about the arrows and the skooma. Yeah, not worried about any of that. Everyone in here is basically a drug addict because that is what skooma does to you. Yeah, see, this one's dead. Uh, can I feed on any of you? You know, I don't want to get high, but I mean... No, okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Do I have... I do have vampire seduction. That will let me feed. Hello, feed. Hello, feed. Because I think if you feed from people multiple times, you can actually kill them. Which is the plan. Okay, or not. Right, okay, so doing that, does that get rid of our... Yeah, gets rid of our weakness to sunlight, which is good. Okay. Did I not take the back room door room key? Okay, alright, we'll do that. Don't want to burn through too many lockpicks. There we go. And then what do we have in here? Amulet of Kinnereth, not worried about that. Lockpicks, you need those potions of stamina now. Right. Really? What are you guys playing at? I'm a vampire too. You can't turn me into one of you. You can't do it. And apparently there is actually like a... Well, not apparently, I've seen it done. You can offer to take their sample of like the red water skooma and then you wake up in that cell there. But everything's been taken from you, so... Yeah, I don't often do that. Right, okay. Let's continue to push our way up here. We've not got to worry about being quiet. Because, hey, we're not a stealth character. Hello! There we go. Sword to the gut. Nice and nice and easy. We'll take that because it can be sold. Lydia's regard for me has increased. Okay, sure. That's definitely a companion mod doing that. But I couldn't find an explanation in the mod as to what each of those stages do. So, yeah, I don't know about that. Right, and then let's push on. Because there are more people in here ready to kill. Hello! Oh, you had a shield. Nice try. And down you go. Hello! And another one. Now, there is going to be a side quest I'm going to want to go and do fairly soon, because you'll see all these humanoid ones we're killing. I'm, I'm saying humanoid, but, you know, the sentient races, they all require massive soul gems that we don't actually have, so we're losing their souls at the moment. So there's a side quest I'm going to want to do, which is going to give us a soul gem we can use over and over again for those hu sort of, I'm going to call them sentient... I don't think that's the right term, but you know what I mean. The 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 self-aware souls. Hello. Oh. Oh, I ran out. Right. And kill you. Right. You took that. Right. Okay. So let us also go over to destruction. I'm gonna want a favourite vampiric drain. Servant is there, Vampire Sai. Okay, alright. Because then, if I get low on health like that, I can try and absorb uh, some health from people. Right, okay. Do I have. Yeah, nothing I want to break down there. Okay, alright, no worries. We will continue on.
Uh, let's do a bit of healing first, though. And we'll see what we can see. Okay, let's put our bound sword back there. And red water spring. Right, okay. Oh, lovely. I didn't hey, realise that. A cave. Wonder what's inside. I wonder too, Lydia. What do you think might be inside the red water den? Where there's already vampires and everything around. So why don't you just drink the blood from the spring? Do you hear something? No. Oh. oh well. They they heard me. We don't hear the end of that conversation. But basically it was like, why don't you drink the blood from the spring? And the answer was, because it makes us go all nutty. And then we've got some death hounds in here, which we can get some health back on. Oh wow, that is slow. Our destruction skill is not very high. Come on. Come here, pups. No soldier large armor. In which case, there's probably not much point getting that last one. Right, okay. So we can head up here. We'll put that back to conjure in the flame at track. Now, there's something over here. There's a chest over there. And this is one of those bits. It took me a while to figure out what you meant to do. We need to whirlwind sprint across. There you go. And you can't make that jump normally. You have to whirlwind sprint across. And we're lucky we only needed level one. Right, we'll put unrelenting force back there. Really because I don't want to shout at someone, expect to knock them flying and wind up, you know, charging at them. That's not what we want. We've got a chest here. Mm, silver boots, that's different. Ooh, they're apparently better than what I'm wearing. Okay. Interesting. So, do my current boots have an enchantment on them? One-handed attacks do two more damage. I think we will go with silver boots. I think I will skip the armor for the 2% because even if we were doing 100 damage with a sword, which we're definitely not, that would only be an extra two points. So, yeah, I think the armor's more useful to us there. Silver, that must be, must be one of the Creation Club ones because I don't think that's in the base game. Right, okay, let's go up here, and we go, hello, because I know there's lots more people. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're a master vampire. Well, good thing I'm, you know. Ooh. There we go, right, we need to take a quick drink. Where is it, minor healing? Hang on, I took a drink, didn't I? Wow, that's wrecked me. Oh, it's because there's like three of them around me. Yeah, that was a mistake. Shouldn't have charged quite that far forward. Hello, vampire fledgling. Your blood will not protect you from Ooh, gotcha. Right, and when we get that animation, that should be, he says, the last one in the area. Okay, where was that master vampire we just clobbered? Was he in here? Where did he go? Oh, we must have blown him backwards. Okay. Uh, nothing there of use. Fine. And then we can continue up here. We'll pop healing on. And go back to Conjure Flame at Trinac. on around here. Now I'm going to run this episode a little bit long purely because we're not too far from the end of Redwater Den uh, and I don't see a point in calling the episode here when it's not kind of a natural stopping point. So hey! Oh I forgot this one. Oh, it's a trap hallway. It's awful. Uh, so yeah, slightly longer episode for you guys today so hopefully you guys are all appreciative of that. 
uh, if you do I would appreciate a comment what, what should we do what comment should we have for that something that's not too you know odd like length is better or the like um, <laughs> how about something like the long night just so we know yeah if you're not sure what to put that's just a nice little thing you can put there kind of marries up with the vampire thing we've got going on now and yeah it just lets me know that you guys are enjoying it right this oh wow you're a bit more t oh yeah you're the named one what caught fire what set fire to me there that was uncalled for right, i'm gonna loot you before i lose your body uh, and there's still nothing interesting on it and you've got one skelly boy up here come on Hey, buddy. Gotcha. Right, I had a spare soldier in for you, then, by the looks. I'm assuming Lydia is still over by that um, death hound that we never finished off. Ooh, the first one's these. So these are from the Creation Club. The fire arrow, the lightning arrow, and that. Choking grasp is also new. Uh, choking grasp is basically a non-vampire version of Vampiric Drain. Right, get open the bowl, because then I can get all the gems and the gold. So I picked up a book or something, didn't I? That's not what I meant to do at all. Can't use this while in combat. Oh, lovely. Right, okay, well, let's continue to push on then, and hopefully Lydia will catch up. I have a strong feeling she's not going to. So let's patch ourselves up, put that back there, and here we go. I'm going to want to put that down there. Activate the blood spring. And then these two are basically going to, you know, be a pain. Because they are going to try and stop us. Lord Harkin's new favourite. Yeah, Dead I'm not going to let you start. And then we're just going to batter you guys. I'm upset the other one's backed off because I'd already dealt a lot to him. Did we get him? Oh, we got both of them. Right, excellent. You had nothing. Where'd the other one go? You had nothing. You're both worthless. Right, okay. So we can head back out then. Which should... Let's put the flame out for No sign of Lydia. Hmm. I'm just going to check the companion system. Follow a framework. Make sure she's not, got, you know, killed or something. Lydia. Yeah, no, she's still there. She's just not caught up. And I can use that to force her to catch up, but... I mean, I'm, I'm not going to break a bat of sweat over it. Right, okay, and then we are done. So that's Redwater Den cleared. That was probably a bit of a speed run for Redwater Den. Um, I don't know if I missed anything particularly exciting in there, but hey, we've got that done and dusted. Oh yay, our vampire blood boils in the sunlight. And then this, this is the one thing I really wish they'd fix for um, survival mode with this DLC. It is a pain bouncing backwards and forwards to Castle Volker here. Like, it is a royal pain. There's no two ways around it. Okay, Lydia is now back. We are getting vampire and hungry, and we get vampire seduction, which is something that lets us, you know, distract people, and, and then we can feed on them. Okay. So, we are back at the keep. And this is where I'm going to end the episode here, because when we hand the chalice back in, some extra things happen, it moves on to the next stage of the quest, and I'm going to save that for next week. So, as usual, thanks very much for coming along. Likes, comments, subscriptions, they all help the channel grow, they all help get this out in front of people, and more importantly, they all let me know that you want to keep seeing this coming. So, yeah, thanks for those that do that, and I will catch you all next time.